back home tonight, you're staying with Mrs. Clausen, right? Yes, Ma. And you'll be a good boy for her? Yes, Ma. And she will put you on the bus in the morning, and I will be here after you get home from school tomorrow? Yes, Ma. All right, off you go, then. I love you. No. Is Dad coming home this time? No, sweetheart, not this time, but soon. Why can't I go with you? Because it's nowhere for you to go. I want to see him. Soon. Real soon. Off you go. Go learn something. you got now, Willie? Six weeks. Best keep your nose clean, then. Box of Kleenex at our office. How long do you think you'll be out this time? Seems like real life sometimes. You got the families living here. It might even get more popular than it is. Barney's gone. Gone? Gone where? I don't know. He just packed up and left. You and him have a problem. Hmm? No problem. No problem. Willie, it was fine. You... You know, Barney's easy to get along with. He made friends with a, a, a man who worked there, an old guy called McFarlane. Not Cappy McFarlane. I don't know what his first name was. Who is he? Cappy's an ex-con. Barney shouldn't have been hanging. So they were hanging out a lot together. They ate lunch together sometimes. One day I came home, they were sitting there in the kitchen. Were they planning something? I don't know. Barney never said anything. And then about a week later, he just up and left. He just left and didn't say anything to you? Well, he called me once. He said there was something he had to do. When he was done, he'd be in touch. Uh, and Cappy? He had cancer or something. I heard he died. How long ago is this? The, about a month, just after my last visit. I kept thinking Barney come back, you know? Jackson kind of misses him. How about you? You kind of miss him? Yeah. I kind of miss him, Willie. It was nice having somebody around. Help with Jackson a lot. Yeah, I know. It was your idea. Barney, come live with us. Yeah, I know. And he was grateful. He always said you looked after him in here. Maybe... Maybe he didn't want to involve you in something, you know, illegal. Barney's a damn fool. Yeah, well, just so long as you're not one. You get out this time, that's it. You know that, Willie. I won't do another stretch. I won't let Jackson do another stretch. You get out this time, you stay out. That's the deal. That's why I've hung in. Call it that. 18 months out of the last 10 years? It's my wife. Sure ain't no life.
Mama? Hey, you been visiting today? Yeah. How's Willie? He's hanging in. He's out soon, ain't he? Six weeks. God willing. Guess that's why I had to get rid of that young fellow who used to work here. What was his name? Barney, right? He was a hunk. How'd you find a lodger like that? Uh, he was Willie's cellmate. What do you know? If I thought I'd get a cellmate look like that, I'd rob a bank in a minute. Jackson, see if he slipped through it. Felt like you got a load off your mind? A load of something. Don't know about my mind. So how'd you manage inside? What kind of question is that? Okay. Never mind. No, no. Brought it up. Why would you ask me something like that? Seven years is a long time. Tell me about it. We're going to get out of this dump. I'll get through my parole. We'll move out west. Barney and I used to talk about it. Start. Something legit. Yeah. Looks like Barney decided not to wait. I asked around the joint. Word was Cappy had a score plan, but he got too sick to do it. So I think he was trying to get Barney involved. How's that? I mean, Cappy's dead, is what I heard. Well, let's hope Barney didn't get past the talk. What are the chances you can get me a job at the park? If it doesn't close down first. <laughs> they don't have anything against hiring ex-cons. What they don't like is paying a living wage. <sighs> yeah, well, two non-living wages are better than one.
Karen, the house. Hey, Willie. Let's see you made it out. All right. Let me see this. Let me see Willie. this. Yeah. Fine. Nice. Yeah. No, I'm fine. Willie. Barney, let me look at Willie, it. Willie, Willie, I'm fine. I gotta talk to you. What? Hey, Karen. Hey, Barney. Go see if Jackson woke up. Go on, it's all right. What? Huh? Cappy McFarland come to see me. You remember Cappy? Yeah. Right? He put this proposition to me. I thought we was going clean, Boney. What happened to that, Boney? Well, look, this was a biggie, Willie. A biggie. We're talking three and a half mil. Split four ways. I'll be serving cokes at the park. Right, just let me look at this. We gotta call 911. Oh, no, 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 cops. Willie, I'm not going back in. Willie, he's hurt bad. Uh, let me get another towel. I thought Cappy was a goner. Yeah. Yeah, he's a goner. He just got the team together and drove. Who else? Okay. A guy called Keenan. Rich son of a bitch. And another guy by the name of Sarge. Gulf War vet. He's a bad mother. And Jagger. Jagger. He's even worse. Three and a half mil. New bills. Numbered. Have to be held. You, you can't spend. What happened to it? Gabby hit it. Why, Cappy? Well, he was on his way out, you know. His last job. He uh, went to bury it for they buried him. He didn't tell nobody where. He made this map. Four quarters. Each uh, piece had a letter on it with a, with a name. Uh, but a cup. Amelia, Anemone, Rosebud. Hey, babe. Oh. You want something for the pain? Let me see if I can find something for the pain, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on to that. this happen? She just took pity on me, Willie. That's all it was. Who shot you, Barney? Keenan. Keenan, he calls me up. Says he's got a proposition. Said he'd, uh, he'd buy my quarter. For cash. Cash I could spend. How much? A hundred thousand. Against three quarters of a million, that's a pretty big markdown. Yeah, but Willie, Karen deserves it, you know? She deserves it, Willie, like you always said, you know? So you went to this Keenan's? Yeah, I went to his place. It's a big place up on Ridge Road. 811. He asked me if I got it with me, my quarter. I was stupid. I said, yeah. And he, uh, he plugs me. He plugged me, Willie, just like that, you know? Like a little pot gun or else I'd be dead already. Man, she's the best, Willie. I owe you, Willie, looking out for me. And the pen. I'm Karen, looking out for me. I'm giving you mine, Willie. What? I'm 
giving you mine. You and Karen. All right. You go see him. Take what's me and yours and Karen's. You hear me, Willie? Yeah, I hear you. Willie, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm right here, buddy. I'm right here. I'm right here, buddy. It's all right. No hard feelings about me and Karen. should call the police. Karen. I don't want to come back either. You had nothing to do with this. It's not how I'll see it. This is about money. From a robbery, isn't it? What you mean about a lottery ticket? You think these people are gonna share it with you? It's not theirs to share. These people are dangerous. Willie, they killed Barney. And you don't think I should do anything about that? What can you do? Well, it surprised the hell out of me, too. 
No, it ran off. I was too shocked. I don't know where he went. That's why I'm calling you. I called Jagger too, but he wasn't there, so I left him a message. He's out there somewhere is all I know, and we've got to find him. Yeah, sure, I'm scared. I never shot anybody before. No, I'm not going anywhere. on the counter and leave them there. Who are you? Just think of me as the fifth corner. You're a friend of Barney's. He just tried to kill me. Not the way Barney tells He's me. lying. He came around and tried to sell me his quarter of the map. When I refused, he pulled a gun. Tried to make me hand mine over. And you got the drop on him, right? Who are you on the phone to, Jagger or Sarge? He told you about everything? He told me what he could before he died. Hands. Leave him where I can see him. He's dead. Them gut shots will do it every time. So where's the gun you shot him with? It was self-defense. All right. Where's the self-defense weapon you shot him with? I thought you kept it in the safe. I didn't put it back. All right, the way we do this, you open the drawer, you don't put your hand in, you step away. All this is real slow. Got it? Oh, that's fine. Hey, now. Turn around. It's a lady's gun, Keenan. You don't got a lady, do you? You don't want to mess with these people. I wouldn't be messing with anyone if you hadn't shot Barney. I told you it was self-defense. Listen, Barney just died on me in my house, on my couch, and he told me you tried to screw him out of his share. I don't think he would have told me that with his last breath if it wasn't true. So you can cut this self-defense crap. Let's just get your quarter of the map and we'll call it quits. And what if I refuse to give it to you? Think about what one of those feels like in the gut and tell me you won't give me what I'm asking. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey, easy. Hey, stop. All right, keep going. There you go, put it on the, this way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, let me see those hands. Who is that? I don't know. I'll find out. Who is it? It's me. <laughs> what? Who is it? It's Sarge. <laughs> <laughs> Buzz him in. <laughs> Buzz him in. <laughs> Don't get behind the bar and stay there until he's in the room. <laughs> you try to warn him and I'll kill you. You hear me? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Keep your hands where I can see him. Hey, man, Barney's car's still parked outside. Now, he's got to be around here somewhere. Keep him in the air, Sarge. Save me from shooting you. 
who the hell are you? The way we play this is the guy with the gun gets to ask the questions. <laughs> Open your jacket. Use your left hand one button at a time. Quit that whimpering, Keenan. gun. So now you've got two guns. Still haven't told me who the hell you are. I'm a friend of Barney Morris. The late Barney Morris. I told you, Sarge. He came Shut up about that bullshit, Keenan. Didn't believe you the first time. So I guess you know the kind of scumbag you're dealing with. Yeah. But you're the scumbag I don't know. So Barney's dead, and you on his piece of the map. How'd he got Barney's piece? And his. Don't make me do it, Sarge. You haven't told me where your piece of the map is yet. You're a pretty tough mother. For white trash. Uh, Shut up! Go check on him. Keep those hands in the air. Well, is he dead? Get in there. I think I'm gonna get a second opinion. Move away. Look, you got his piece of the map, and you got Barney's. Ain't that enough? That's what I started with. The way I see it, you and this other guy, Jagger, you won't let me take half. You won't even let me take Barney's quarter, so that means I'm gonna have to take it all. That's greedy. It makes the world go around. And what if I don't give up my piece of the map? Then I'll shoot out your kneecaps, make you get down on them, and clean up the blood. You're Willie Ganson. Barney's bunk buddy from Stir. You know what's funny? It didn't stop him from poking your wife. I got a real good look at it once. Not bad for a hoochie mama. I don't have it on me. Then we best go get it. No, 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 no. It's the middle of the night. Come on. Go, go to sleep. Come on. Listen carefully. I let you go. You scream. You be gargling blood. And then I do the boy. Understood? Say this is shaped enough to be an island, Sarge. How are you supposed to know which one? Huh? Cappy said when the four quarters come together, we'd figure it out. There's an awful lot of islands in Maine. Cappy didn't head off to Polynesia, did he? No. Not the shape he was in. It's around here someplace. You know, all in a dead man's chest, right?
How come you such a hard ass all of a sudden, Willie? I mean, Barney told me you two were gonna go straight when you got out. Yeah, well, it's not every day you get out of the pen and fight three and a half million bucks bleeding to death on your couch telling you it was screwing the old lady with no hard feelings. Kind of changes your perspective on things. <laughs> Huh? Up against the wall. Middle of the room. It's fine. All right, where is it? Make me an offer, Will. I'll let you live. How about that? How about I don't believe? I told you I'd shoot off your kneecap. All right, all right. It's over there. It's over there. Where? Inside the base. That wasn't so hard, now was it, Camellia? You're out of your depth, Willie. Way out. <laughs> Hell, man. Get yourself shot sneaking up like that. You know who this is, boy? Anemone. It's just you and me now. I had a word with the old lady. We had a real good understanding, me and her. She told me what I wanted to know, and I didn't cut a throat. Cross my heart, hope to die. You can feel a lie starting in the heart. Do you know that, Willie? Told me you dumped Barney Buttercup, then went to see Rosebud. I didn't see you there, so I figured either Sarge got you, or you got Sarge. Either way, it's all coming back here. Now I could say, why don't we split this, Willie? Two ways. You wouldn't need to have your hand on my heart to know I was bullshitting you. Why don't we just get up on our hind legs, count to ten. Last man standing takes all. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Are you okay? Oh my God, Did he hurt you? No, he just scared me real bad. Where's Jax? I'm talking to Mrs. Clausen. Oh God, come on, come on, let me, uh, let me, come here. Gotta get this scene to a really, and the bullet's still in there. Oh. Ex-cons with bullets in them got a lot of explaining to do. Yeah, well, ex-cons with bullets in them die. Listen, we have to figure out where this island is. All right, it's got to be somewhere close. Eastern seaboard, at least. Cappy had to get there with the money, and he was on his last legs from the sound of things. Well, it might not be the ocean. It could be a, 
island on a lake somewhere. There's lots of them. Listen. This thing with Barney and me. What are you, I don't want to hear about that. Listen to me, Willie. We just gave each other a little comfort. In seven years, that was the one and only. And it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't sent him here. And it wouldn't have happened even then if, if it wasn't that Barney really liked you. Well, no, there's a theory. He told me about you and him, about how you looked out for him, how it went down between you. And I understood, Willie. I did, and I, I didn't think bad of you or of him. That's all I'm asking. Don't think bad of Barney. You love me. Hold on to that. It's the cops, will you? Access to the robbery, we're okay, and there's no reason they should. I was in the can when it went down. Hey, you sure it's safe in there? Yeah, till you get out. All right, listen to me, you know nothing. I went out last night, you got no idea where. I came back this morning, shot. All right, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming. What would you like? Honey crunch. Wet or dry? Dry. OK. Have a seat. Where's Dad? Dad's had to go away for a little bit. They, um, they made a mistake about when he's supposed to get out. Does that mean you won't be coming back for another while? Yeah. Yeah, but just, just for a little while this time. What are they? It's a word game I've been playing. Like a crossword puzzle? Yeah, kind of. of the Caribbean Adventure Ride? <gasps> B, C, A, R. Buttercup. Camellia, anemone, rosebud. What's your friend? Jackson, don't talk with your mouth full. Uh, I want you to go over to Mrs. Clausen's for a bit. I haven't finished my cereal. Well, then, uh, take it with you. Just tell her I, I need her to look after you for a little bit, OK? All right. All right, babe.
So that's your story, Willie? Barney's banging your old lady while you're in the can. You have it out with him. He shoots you. You grab the gun off him, plug him, and then get rid of his body. That it? Of course, you'd have to produce the body. Don't get cute. Doesn't become you. Our dog sniffed out Barney, the dead guy, not 200 feet from your trailer. Self-defense. Justifiable homicide and voluntary manslaughter, somewhere in there. Whatever. Looks like it's bye-bye, Willie. Must be a record for recidivism, though. How long you been out? 24 hours? Seems like a lot longer. 